Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you going out and you need to connect to the internet but you don't have a Wi-Fi connection? In this video, I'll show you how to set up personal hotspot on your iPhone as well as how to connect your laptop or any other device to it. Let's go. A personal hotspot turns your iPhone into a Wi-Fi access point that you can use to connect other devices so they can access the web through your iPhone's data connection. Before setting up your personal hotspot, make sure you have a mobile data plan. Then don't forget to enable mobile data so that your personal device can use your cellular data plan. To set up the personal hotspot, first click on personal hotspot in your settings. If your plan does not include cellular data or the option for a mobile hotspot, you will not see personal hotspot on your settings, so make sure to check your data plan as well. To enable your personal hotspot, turn on the Allow Others to Join toggle. At the bottom, you will see three different ways to connect to your hotspot. You can connect via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or a USB cable. I will go over each method in this video. Before I go over each method, keep in mind that by turning on your personal hotspot, your iPhone becomes discoverable to other devices through their Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. The name of your hotspot network is also the name of your iPhone which is displayed here. This is also the name that other devices using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth will discover. If your device name is your real name and you don't want to make it visible to the public, I will show you how to change it later in this video. Additionally, when the device that will connect to your hotspot is signed into the same Apple ID, your hotspot network is automatically available on the connection list. You will have an auto-generated password for your personal hotspot, but you can always change it. Your password needs to have at least 8 characters. Setting a strong password is very important to prevent unauthorized access by other devices. Now, as I have mentioned, you can change the name of your device and hotspot. Go to Settings and access the General tab. Here you can see your device name at the top. Tap on it and change it to whatever you would like to name your iPhone. Return to Personal Hotspot Settings and you'll notice another toggle labeled Family Sharing, which when enabled allows your family to connect to your hotspot without having to type in a password. To learn more about this, check out the tag at the top right corner. Now let's start connecting a device. I will start with the simplest way to connect your personal hotspot to any device which is through Wi-Fi. For this tutorial, I will use my Mac, but this also works the same way on a Windows PC. To connect a device to your personal hotspot, click on the Wi-Fi icon. It might take a second for the name of your personal hotspot to appear. Your iPhone will receive a pop-up notification asking if you would like to use your personal hotspot. When you tap on Allow, the connecting device will not be prompted for a password and will be connected automatically. If you don't get a pop-up notification, you need to type in the password you chose. On your Mac, you will see this sign here and the status bar of your iPhone turns green. In some cases, you may not see your iPhone directly under the network list. If this is the case, try deactivating and reactivating your Wi-Fi on your laptop while also opening the Hotspot Settings page on your iPhone. You can now access and browse the web. On your iPhone, you can check the number of connected devices in the Control Center. Long press on the network settings to expand and below Personal Hotspot is the number of devices connected to your hotspot. As additional information, if you're using iOS 13 or later, your device can stay connected to the hotspot even if the screen is locked. Another method is to connect to the hotspot using Bluetooth. To do this, make sure to enable Allow Others to Join and to turn on Bluetooth on both devices. Once turned on, both devices should be discoverable. However, I wouldn't recommend connecting to your personal hotspot using Bluetooth because it's not that reliable and the other methods just work better. The third method is to use a lightning cable. To begin, connect your iPhone to your Mac or Windows PC using the original or MFI certified cable that came with your iPhone. 
If you don't have either, you can buy one by clicking the tag in the upper right corner. Now, make sure that the iPhone is charging. If you connect your iPhone to the computer for the first time, you will be asked to confirm if you trust this computer. Tap on Trust and your iPhone settings and data will be accessible from your computer. You will also be asked to enter your password as an additional security. For this method, you need to enable your mobile data as well as your personal hotspot. On your Mac, you can see that your iPhone is now connected. If you want to have a faster browsing speed, I recommend using this method. If you're having trouble connecting to your personal hotspot, I have another video on how to fix this issue. Click on the tag or check out the link in the description below. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.